Hey, what's up, y'all? As you can see, we are back. Another update on Project X. Project X, getting some headway. Uh, as you can see, we got the pseudo box Chevy over there. And then we got Project X here, which, and if you don't know, is the four door uh, LS Braham for the streets. So, uh, basically, what I've done, I've been touching up the touching up the engine bay. You know, when we first got it, it was real rusted. So I took some 80 grit uh, sandpaper, got down off in there, uh, sanded it down. Not to metal, but you know, to clean up any of the major spots. Uh, I just didn't look good. Um, I still have a little bit of cleaning up to do on this fender well, cause I'm gonna be taking off. Uh, that vacuum ball is gonna go. Uh, this, this is for the uh, speed control. That's gonna go. Both of those are gonna go. Um, stuff for the evac canister, that's gonna go. None of that stuff is on that box Chevy, so we're gonna get rid of it. Uh, and then when I get that off, then I can go ahead and I can finish painting up under there. I'm gonna sand it, hit that with the uh, sander and then bring that down and then get it painted and get it looking all shiny and nice like this one here. Uh, I just needed to, you know, try to hit it some type of way with something before we just threw the motor off in there. That's, that's just me, that's just how I do. Uh, I may go ahead and hit that back firewall with the same stuff. Uh, I don't know. 100%. I, I mean, it will be behind the motor. It's not necessarily show, although we are doing on taking a little bit further step on what we plan to do on this build. You know what I'm saying? We're going a little bit above and beyond, and I'm gonna show y'all what I mean about it in just a second. Uh, we went ahead and doused the hinges, that's the hinges and some WD-40. Uh, I don't know how long it's been, they've been up like that. However, I know WD-40 won't hurt. <laughs> Definitely won't hurt. So, you know, we hit it, make sure that's something that I didn't do on the other one. And then uh, I think I kind of came to regret it because it kind of bowed the hood a little bit. So, yeah, big, so big blast WD 40 can. Good to go. Uh, as you can see, I mean, there is like some surface rust on here but nothing that the uh, nothing that can't be taken care of uh, there's a couple spots over here on this one that i had to get i took it down to the metal and it it looked great so solid 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 and over there uh it's pretty much gonna be the same thing like i said i thought i get after I get the vacuum ball off of there, uh, stuff for the, uh, and the stuff for the uh, cruise control. Get that to come off, because like I said, we will not, not be using that at all. All right, so, 
show you what the powerhouse is going to be for the uh, what's going to live under the hood of the SS not SS, the LS as we're getting that prepped and ready so we got a 5.3 uh, we're doing a little bit different this time we are going with a car intake LS2 uh, big mouth uh, throttle body probably like a 92 millimeter uh, I'll throw some paint on it <laughs> ain't gonna necessarily be no Picasso job same as what we did with the cutlass uh, instead of doing probably dual colors we'll probably do a single color of blue on the block hell yeah, probably even the engine cover just because or the timing cover just because it's it really don't make no matter when you put the pump on there and you ain't gonna be able to really see behind there anyway so uh, we're gonna be cleaning it up with this is where our product that clean up with that super clean y'all know they, they sponsored us and uh yeah so we're gonna put this stuff to the test and uh see exactly how it's gonna come out i'm probably gonna roll this out the garage here because i gotta get ready to clean it up it ain't super duper duper filthy but definitely could use some love before we spray paint it. Uh, I'ma leave the, uh, because the head's already been painted and shit. So I'ma just leave them on there and then I might pull them off when it's time to paint the heads. But as far as the block, we're just gonna clean it and then spray it blue, time to cover blue. Uh, let me show you the blue that I got for it. All right, so this blue right here called caliber blue uh, I said it would say it's heat up to 500 degrees ideal for caliber drums and rotors but it should also work for our engine blocks as well uh, because the engine paint for the engine block is very similar in its rating let me find let me find a can. I know I got one around here somewhere. Somewhere. Right, so this is anodized color code 550. Anodized color effect over chrome shiny metal surface. So if this is for the if this is for the engine block or the covers or the VHT, then it should be fine for the block itself. So we're going blue, not red. I don't think I had another color in mind for it. Hold on, I might have to dig through some stuff. I be buying shit and forgetting and yeah, so let me change these let me dig through a couple boxes make sure there ain't no surprise color for the engine block all right so there's no no secret color however i do think i remembered i was going to do this on the calipers on the chevy so <clears throat> now i guess they'll both be the same tart blue tart blue all right so we're gonna get us get our super clean Get it in action. All right, so you can see, got that ready to go. Well, you can kind of see it. I can say something off in there now. I wasn't gonna set it off in there looking all rusty and stuff, so. Good to go on that. And then we gotta get the engine ready, as you can see. I'm gonna put the blue on there. It looks good. 
the oil paint coming off, so I'm gonna take the heads off and spray them aluminum colored silver and then <clears throat> turn around and back though probably do the engine mounts probably do the engine mounts the same color blue I was thinking about going blue and black but the blue, the blue works I like the color of it it's not like a dull blue it's kind of a bright blue so, I think we're gonna keep it. I almost messed around and ordered more of the same parts. That's what happened when you be ordering a whole lot of stuff. Let's see what we got in this box of goodies here. Go back and look at my receipts, and I was like, Oh, yeah, I got some of them. All right, hold on. All right, so we got in here, got some popcorn. Oh, you know. Yes, sir. Straight from the LSX Innovations. Make sure you use that code LSCR free shipping. And get free shipping on your order from LSX Innovations. And we also got uh, that pickup tube girdle. Uh, for when we put our uh, oil pan on there. So that's going to hold that in there nicely. And then inside of here, let me unwrap this for you. Alright, so this is the, uh, the coil, coil brackets. These will go on the uh, rail. Or not the rail. <clears throat> Go on the valve cover. So if you got it off, I'll show you how to go on. So all the work there. One, two, three, four, five. So this is probably this is probably the right side here. Give me a second. gonna go on here I believe this bing 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 so you got a hole right there 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 to hold the bracket and then two bolts each for each of the four core packs that'll be good to go there I thought I was gonna use this hole down here, but it doesn't utilize that hole, but let's see. Unless it's, unless it's different on this side from the other side. 
Nah, I look to be about the same on either side. So yeah, after we get our valve covers painted how we want them, we're gonna put our fancy brackets on there for the core, core packs. We're good to go with that, man. So a little, little touch of LSX innovation on both of them. Like I said, make sure you use that code LSCR free shipping to get free shipping on your order from LSX Innovations.com. So, uh, I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up for the night <clears throat> for this update. Uh, bring y'all another one probably in a couple weeks. But uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing, getting uh, in the future. So after work tomorrow, I'm gonna probably come home, put another coat of the blue on there, uh, <clears throat> and then we'll get ready to go ahead and do uh, the oil pan, swap that off, the pickup tube, install the girdle, install the girdle for the pick oil pickup tube. It's not something that I've had an issue with, but I mean, I figured I'd go ahead and do it since you know they're the sponsor. Uh, go ahead and utilize that and then like you say you got the bolts for those and then these are the bolts for the uh, bracket so it's coming together coming together uh, we kind of picking up the pace uh, because of the simple fact that I don't tell nobody now mm -hmm. I kind of want to put the box shave, the two-door box chef in the middle before we get the sand and this stuff on it so we have more room. Uh, we may or may not have hit 10,000 subscribers by then, but if we go ahead and get this running and driving, that way I can pull it out the drive, pull it out of the garage, put it right over here, put the tarp back over it, and then go from there. And then whenever we hit 10K, it'll come off or whatever. But of course, y'all the members, y'all get these exclusive videos. And then, uh, yeah. So we already got the oil pan. Won the oil pan in the auction. Uh, won the oil pan in the auction. Got it sitting back there. Uh, Probably gonna go ahead and start. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Probably go ahead and get the bolts. Get the new head bolts. Get the new head bolts so we can put our heads on. Uh, then probably go ahead and get ready to put the transmission made it up and then i mean after we get that done man we can go ahead and put it in the car uh the fuel system i know that's like the feed that's the feed that's the return uh i'm probably just gonna cut it down so i'm not probably gonna use whatever that is that they use originally uh so yeah, we'll take that, get the fuel line, the sending or the feed and the return lines, get them ready. You know, we're gonna probably <laughs> use our uh, braided, nylon braided hose for that. And then, uh, up there. So, y'all keep rocking with your boy. I'm saying I'm gonna keep writing these updates. Project X gonna come together.